All right, you guys, so we're gonna get straight to it. When it comes down to content, either you're creating it or you're consuming it, right? So the hard part about that is, if you wanna be a creator, sometimes you get stuck. So you create less than ideally, less than you would want to. So it keeps bugging you because you know that you can create more. So I struggle with that a lot. I had to tell myself like, hey, you are a content creator. So that's what you need to do. You need to create content, right? More easily said than done. But the more I thought about it, it's like, what is, what's stopping me from creating this content that I want to create, that I want to share with you guys? Because I know, I know stuff, I know things, I know everybody has something that they can share. And I feel like I have stuff that I can share with you guys. But what is holding me back? And I think I realized that I am too much of a consumer. And it's easy to get caught up in that trap of consuming content. What do I mean by consuming content? Content. So what do you do? You grab your phone, right? I, I don't keep a case on mine, but you grab your phone, you go straight to Instagram, straight to Facebook, YouTube, whatever, and you start consuming this content. That's fine, right? You're a consumer. But if you're gonna be a creator, you have to create some content too. It's not fair to these people that you're just consuming all this content and you're not creating anything. Especially when you have something to offer. Especially if you know something and you're not sharing it. Like, why are you not creating if this is what you're supposed to do? This is what you signed up for. This is what I signed up for. It's to be a creator, to share with you guys knowledge, right? So why do I get on my phone every day and I consume, 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 scroll, 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 watch videos, watch videos, get on Facebook, and I'm not giving back. I'm not delivering the content. I'm not giving you guys what I need to do. I need to break that habit of being a consumer. Every day, if I'm gonna consume content, I have to create content too. I gotta create something in order for me to consume it. I can't get on Facebook and scroll and look at posts unless I post something too. I can't get on YouTube and, and look at all these barber videos unless I'm posting something too. That's probably not daily, but that's more like I need to create too. It needs to balance out. So what that's gonna, what that does in the future is, is if you're creating, if you're constantly creating and you're delivering the content, then that means you're reliable. So if I say I'm into, I don't know, say I'm into calligraphy or something and I follow this account on Instagram because they posted like a really, really nice uh, post about them doing some calligraphy or something like that, right? So I follow them and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm watching them and I'm hoping that they deliver the content, right? Sub subconsciously, I'm not saying that to myself, but I, that's the reason I'm following them. I want to see more of the content that they're creating. So what happens if I follow them and they don't post anything for five, six months, nothing happens. I'm going to want to unfollow them because it doesn't work like that. They haven't, they don't deliver the content. They haven't delivered on the promise that they gave me when they asked me to follow them. You know what I mean? So I feel like I'm doing the same thing with my YouTube channel. Like how come I'm not delivering this content that I promised? When you guys subscribe to me, I'm promising you guys content. Like, okay, I want to watch more of this. I want to see whenever he posts more stuff. Whether you, you know, it's not, it's, it's more subconscious. You're not literally saying like, hey, I'm waiting. Or oh, some of you might be, but um, whenever you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're expecting content. And I feel like I haven't delivered on that lately. And that's something that I want to get better at is delivering the content. But that goes for everything. If you want to grow your social media, you have to be reliable. And when I mean, when I say reliable, I don't mean perfect because nobody is perfect. You can't post perfect posts every single day. Every I follow meme pages. I follow a lot of meme pages on Instagram. And sometimes they post memes that aren't even funny. Like I don't, I don't even care. I just keep scrolling. But if they stop scrolling, I mean, if they stop posting for a while, I'm going to notice and I'll be like, hey, that one meme page hasn't posted in a while. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to unfollow them because why am I wasting my time? Why are, why am I being loyal to them as a follower if they're not going to deliver the content that I initially followed for, right? It's the same thing with everything else. If you're going to sign up to be a creator, if you're going to make a YouTube channel or anything, you have to deliver the content. You can't go dormant. You can't go a long period of time without posting because you're losing that reality. People don't trust you no more. People don't trust you to post content every week like you said you were, especially if you haven't been doing it. You got to gain that trust back. And I feel like that's something that I need to do personally. And that's why I'm creating this video. This video is something that 
I had a conversation with one of my friends about it and we were talking about it and while we were talking about it, it just kind of went into that because he, he also creates and he was telling me how he wishes he could create more and we just got into it. It's like, man, like, why is it so hard to create? And it's like, we didn't, we never looked at it. Well, I know I never looked at it that way. It's like, you're a consumer or a creator. Which one are you gonna be? Like, are you gonna consume all day? Consume, 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 consume? Or are you gonna create? Create, 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 create. You can do both, but it's all about balance. Everything in life is about balance, you guys. I don't mean to get deep with you guys, but everything is about balance. You gotta balance what you eat with how much you exercise, of course. You gotta balance your leisure with your work. Like if you're gonna have a lot of fun, you better make sure you balance it out with work. Everything you do is about balance. And this is just another example of it. Like you're gonna consume, if you're gonna, you're gonna create, then you also have to consume. Of course, you know, I'm not saying everybody should start a YouTube channel or be Instagram famous or anything like that. But you do have to create something. At some point, you're gonna post something. You know, people, you know, there's a lot of lurkers out there and I'm, you know, I'm guilty. I post on Facebook maybe once every two, three months. Instagram as well. And it's because I've always had this idea that I can't post something unless it's perfect. Which sometimes, you know, sometimes makes sense. But at the same time, why would I even worry about it? Like, if somebody doesn't like a haircut that I do and I post it, they're just going to scroll. They're not going to go and follow me. The haircut was so bad that they don't it's not. It's never going to be that serious. But I tell you what, if they're trying to get their ratio right and they have too many, uh, if they're following too many people and they go look at accounts and they start purging, guess who they're going to do? They're going to delete me because I haven't posted in a while. And I don't blame them. I will do the same thing. So what it comes down to is don't be selfish, you guys. This goes for me most, mostly. If you're going to be a creator, create. If you're going to be a consumer, then commit to that and you're good don't worry about it but if you're gonna be some kind of creator then balance it out don't just consume all day it's not fair especially if you got something interesting to share with the world you know what i mean that's all i had to say i uh, appreciate you guys watching uh don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff here's the thing about that i don't mean to i don't mean to make this video extra long but when you like and when you subscribe now we're talking about uh, uh, creating content uh, and consuming it that's how these algorithms work if i create something that doesn't receive any kind of engagement no type of likes no type of comments then youtube is not going to show that to anybody else you know you're gonna have to look for it. it's not gonna pop up you're gonna have to go five six seven eight pages deep to find me so the more you engage the more you like and comment the more youtube's gonna be like hey people like this video let's bump it up a little bit that's how engagement works and that's how the algorithms work so i would really appreciate if you guys like and comment on this video and yeah appreciate you guys watching